right, guys, we just walked in here. We've got about 30 minutes until the sun starts to set and these hogs should start coming out. So I'm just looking for something to give me a little bit of back cover or something I can just hide behind some of these big hickory trees. Where I'm sitting across the creek is fantastic. My uh, camera, where I've been, been getting the hog photos, is about 30 yards. So I'm going to see if I can get something a little bit closer. But I'm pretty sure these hogs are going to, if they come in, they'll come in here and they'll mill around a little bit and then they'll cross the creek and go look for other hickory trees. The reason I wanted to come over here tonight is because we've had a ton of wind with these thunderstorms. And it's knocked a lot of the, the nuts out of the trees. The ground is also really soft, so we don't have that crunching sound, so I can do some stalking. And um, the wind is going to be good as well, good consistent wind. I brought my pad, so I can just kind of sit on or kneel on, whatever i got to do. And uh, I'm just rocking the fanny with the rangefinder. Um, that's pretty much it. Going pretty simple, just hunting on the ground.
these deer. It's because this is a, this part of this land right here is hogs only. So all these deer over here are in the same zone. All right, guys, we did not encounter any hogs last night, which I consider a good thing, walking back in the dark. Uh, but I'm hoping to get one of these pigs, like, right at, at sundown. You know, I've, I've got enough trail cam pictures that I think it's possible. I'm just going to have to try a few times. I really don't have any good morning pictures of pigs, uh, but I was right about the acorns and the... Um, you know, the pecans and everything else falling out of the trees. Uh, the deer were loving it. They were all over it. Saw so many deer. Uh, I was covered up with them. And I'm not sure if the does blowing had anything to do with us not seeing anything, any pigs. I don't think so. So I didn't have any nighttime photos uh, when I got up this morning and checked the cell cam. So I really don't think so. But we're going to go try it again tonight. All right, y'all, I've been sick. I lost my voice last Guggen Week, so bear with me. I have been trying to save my voice up talking in a video. Uh, didn't really have an intro to this video because my voice was gone at the time. But this is my bow that um, I've chosen to basically make into a ground, ground hunting bow, blind bow, and, uh, and night hunting bow now. So at the least, you know, we've got a lot of pigs. I had a stabilizer right here and I took it off and I put this light kit on here um, and I've never used this one before. This is uh, Elusive Wildlife Technologies. I got this one up at Cinnamon Creek uh, Archery Shop, but they've got uh, the Sniper Hog version as well, which I've used before and I liked it. Uh, it was good. I used a Sniper Hog. Uh, this light is really small. It's super compact and I like that. Uh, it's got a couple different trigger options for it, but I'm not even running the trigger. So it's got a wire that you would run right here, and you can press that with your index finger or wherever you want to put it to turn it on. But I'm just going to turn it on using my thumb, sort of scan like this, uh, doing a soft press, and then I'll click it in and draw when I'm ready. If there's something basically on the trail um, at night as I'm coming back. I'm not stalking the daggum woods with this thing because it's <clears throat> it's pretty creepy being on the ground with hogs at night. Um, but for sitting in the dark conditions, uh, especially you know right at low light, I uh, decided to go ahead and put a, a light onto my black gold site. And this is the black gold light that I added to it. It's great, it was like 25 bucks it was pretty cheap, and um, it's just got a couple of little watch batteries in there, and it lights up that um, that my single pin, which I love. This thing is perfect for sitting inside of the ground blind, even you know for white tail at the last little bit of light uh, there when you're in a ground blind, everything's dark, <clears throat> or when I've got the pigs, and I've also set up a, uh, a light at the lease, which I'll, I'll show you guys in another video where I'm specifically trying to hunt pigs there with a bow. 
um, and I can see the pigs uh, with the light that's uh, around the feeder, but I can't see my pins. Now I can see my pins. So this bow I've basically dedicated to, uh, you know, real low light hunting and pig hunting with it. I'm going to try to get, uh, if I'm close enough where I can shoot a real small one, I will, because I, I want to eat one of these pigs. You know, they've been eating nuts and they're, they're probably pretty tasty pigs. I actually had to do a little bit of yard work today. Some limb burning, so I went ahead and just smoked my my hunting clothes. I want to have that hood tonight and mask. And as you guys saw last night, you know, even just sitting on the ground with a deer, if you're not moving and the wind is right, uh, they'll walk right past you. But it's really uh, it's really when you have that wind against you is when they catch you. But a hog is. Uh, they're, in my opinion, their eyes are worse than a deer, so it's really just the smell you got to worry about. <sighs> Which I stink pretty good right now. Clothes are smelling like smoke, so that's good. set up behind this cottonwood tree right here literally where there's hog wallows and I can see just like from a couple of days ago they were right here feeding on these uh, these hickory nuts that are falling out of the tree so there's a big thicket that's behind me and I think what they're gonna do is follow this little creek bed into the, the hickory grove. I don't know if they're gonna do it tonight, but it seems like that's what they're doing. So it's, it's really, really thick as we go that way. And it's pretty open over here, so it looks like a good feeding area. And they go sleep back that way. So I'll have some good cover behind me. If I hear them come, I'll be able to pop up and shoot. Um, but if they pass me and come into this grove, I'll try to shoot them before they get too far in front of me and smell me. So, I like the spot. We might even get to see some more deer tonight. And, um, we still got about 30 minutes. So, just chill out, get an arrow knocked, and get ready.
Guys, if you want a uh, good way to dookie in your pants while hunting, that is a good way to do it. I unfortunately never got a good clean shot I felt great about. I actually drew back a couple of times. So when I f first got away from that cottonwood tree and was gonna go see if I could stock up on the pigs I was hearing, I got in this little creek bed and I just, I looked up, I saw movement and here they come. And there was like 20 of them and they kept crossing the creek, crossing the creek. And I was trying to get, uh, get an arrow knocked and get ready. And finally when I did, I was thinking one more was gonna cross the creek. So I was ready to go for that last one and no other pigs crossed. And then the same thing happened when I popped up on this little ridge and they were just scattered. They were kind of running all around me. They knew something was there. They didn't know what it was. They were like barking, chattering, growling. It was scary. And then I was drawing back. I had a pig 25 yards. I was gonna shoot, shoot it and as soon as I, I drew back, it took off into the brush. And then I had one right behind me, like five feet from me, growling, barking. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I was thinking this thing is going to just come out of these briars and attack me and there's nothing I can do. And then I'm just trying to get home. I'm just trying to walk back and there's hogs coming out of the woodwork. And uh, I had a big, a big group just run right in front of me. And I mean, I mean right where I got to walk. I think I might try to go out again and set in a tree where I feel more comfortable. I don't feel comfortable getting down out of a, a tree when it's dark. Uh, but man, I had pigs all around me on the ground and it was just spooky, man. It's spooky walking around with, with a bunch of pigs, especially when you see those big ones and you're like, oh man, you know, they, they're in the brush. I can't see them. They, they know I'm here. They're pissed. There's mama with babies, you know, there's a boar in the mix. Um, you just never know what could happen. It, I'm not gonna lie, it uh, made my heart skip a beat a few times. Thank you guys for hanging with me on this scary one in the woods. Don't forget to check out uh, Buck's Gear and you can use my promo code actually and save 10% uh, on the site anytime. If you're a saddle hunter, you'll probably really like it. You can set it just above your saddle belt, turn it around, you have access to you know, whatever, your scents, your calls, all that fun stuff. So check it out, link down below, and I will see you guys back in the great outdoors soon on the next one. Hopefully I'll get my voice back later.